What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you a calisthenics pull workout that is going to increase your pull reps but also going to help build your muscle and your strength. So let's get into it. So in today's workout we're going to be doing different variations of pull-ups that are going to target different muscle groups in the back. This is going to develop our pulling capabilities in different aspects as we're not going to be pulling in the same motion but we're going to be trying some different exercises and some different grips. We're also going to be doing high repetitions in this workout so that our body gets used to the high volume and in time we're going to be able to do more reps. Another tip is to add extra weight to your body weight if you have a solid form and a solid base with your own body weight. Whether it's a weighted vest, a belt with extra weight or even a book bag, adding extra weight when you train is going to demand a lot more power from your muscles and it's going to demand a lot more energy in time increasing and building a lot more strength. After you get used to training with extra weight on you and you take off that weight, you're going to be flying. You're going to be doing exercises effortlessly. Alright guys, we've talked enough. Let's get to the video. First exercise is going to be weighted pull-ups for 15 reps. Alright, so I'm going to be using extra weight doing these exercises, which again is a pretty good tip. And then we're not going to be doing the pull-ups 15 reps in a row, we're going to be drop setting them. So basically have some weight on you and then we're going to be doing 5 repetitions. And then after that we're going to drop some weight and then we're going to be doing another 5 and then drop some weight again and then do another 5, totaling 15 repetitions. But we're going to do that as fast as possible. So rest as little as possible between these five reps. So again, I'm gonna put on some weight. Okay, let's put up there, five reps. Take off some weight. And we're gonna do five more. All right, five more reps. Take off the weight vest. Let's finish this. All right, so that was pull-ups, a really great exercise, in my opinion, the king of back exercises. And I don't know if you caught that, but we did different grips. We did a wide grip, we did a shoulder width grip, and we did a close grip. I really recommend you guys to try doing different grips when you do pull-ups, not only chin-ups and pull-ups, but really try and go wide, shoulder, and close, so that you develop your muscles in different ways, because every single grip is different, and it's gonna challenge you in a different way. Anyway, next exercise we're gonna be doing is one-arm commando negative pull-ups for four reps on each arm. So basically, how we're gonna do this exercise is that we're gonna have a commando grip, we're gonna jump, grip the bar, do a pull-up, and get up here, almost. And once we do that, we're gonna let go of one arm, and then try to come down as low as possible with the other arm, and then leave it. After that, you know, you shake a little bit with your arms, and then you do it again. Once you cannot do any more repetitions, another thing you can try is let go of some fingers. I will show you that right now. So let's get into some reps. So now we're gonna let go of a couple of fingers. It's gonna look something like this.
Alright, so that was one arm commando negative, really great exercise train, one arm strength. And as you guys saw, I went down really fast in some of these reps. Eventually, the more you train this exercise, you're going to need to do it slower and slower, going down slower. Uh, this is going to build your strength in one arm. Also, the more you train a negative of an exercise, you're going to get the positive eventually because you're using the same muscles, same body weight, but it's just an easier variation of something like a one arm pull up. So that's a great one. And as you guys can see, if you can't do any more reps with one arm, you can always let go of a couple of fingers and then come down as slow as possible. Eventually, you're going to be able to let go of even more fingers, ultimately doing the exercise with one arm at a time. So, next exercise we're going to be doing is weighted chin-ups. Let's get it! Alright, so for the chin-ups, we're going to be using weight again. If you can't use weight, it's totally fine. Just do it without any weight and challenge yourself. Eventually, you're going to be able to use more weight. We're going to be going for 15 reps. So, let's get it! All right there, so that was chin-ups, 15 reps. A really great exercise to build your back and build your pulling strength. Next exercise we are going to be doing is gonna be L-sit chin-ups. And for you guys that cannot do L-sit chin-ups, I'd recommend that you guys go for Australian pull-ups for 15 reps using a chin-up grip. So, for this exercise, I'm gonna take off the weight vest and I'm gonna do it on the body weight, focusing on my form. So, Let's get it. So that was LC chin-ups, really great exercise to build overall strength and volume. Next exercise we're going to be doing is going to be muscle-ups. If you guys still cannot do muscle-ups, then I'd recommend you guys go for negative muscle-ups. Really try to control that exercise. The reason I have it that late in the workout is because it builds super explosive strength and if you get used to doing hard exercises during the end, then you're really gonna be able to push yourself very hard and develop in ways you've never before. Alright guys, let's get it. Five muscle ups, and if you can do more, then do more. If not, again, negative muscle ups. So, let's get it. All right, so that was the muscle up. Really good for building solid explosiveness, solid muscle. Try this move, guys. Practice it, it's a really great one. But we're not done yet. We have only one more exercise left, and that's inverted row pull-ups. And for those of you that cannot do inverted row pull-ups, I'd like you to try tucked inverted row pull-ups. So, six repetitions. Let's just get it. Alright guys, that's it for the workout today. A really great workout that is going to develop your pulling strength and also improve you in calisthenics. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this video and if you have any more suggestions about any more videos I can do in the future, then I'm always open for them. Guys, also, if you want to watch more videos, then many more workout videos just like this one are coming. So don't forget to click that subscribe button to stay tuned and to support me. 
I have a goal, I want to reach 1,000 subscribers before the end of 2020 and with your guys' help, I'm pretty sure we can have that goal and maybe I'm gonna do a giveaway once we reach 1,000 subscribers and some of you guys are gonna win some pretty amazing stuff. With that being said, thank you so much everyone for watching, I hope you have an amazing day, take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out!